We have a somewhat very interesting setup. Some of you may have seen them this morning. Boys and girls, back from the two bit circus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to stage, Mr. Brent Bushnell. Welcome to stage, Brent! High five, my friend, and Howdy, I will join you shortly. Great to see you. Take care, great to see you. Howdy, folks. All right, what a crazy day, huh? This has been awesome. Um, in the true spirit of pioneers, I have a very experimental show for you today. In fact, Nothing that I'm about to do uh, we've tested in front of an audience before. Uh, so uh, if you'll bear with me, uh, we're going to see what happens. So the first thing, uh, many of you have laser pointers. Uh, if we could get the house lights down a little bit. And we're going to try a little experiment. So uh, you can see up here, there's a, uh, we're going to ask you to follow the instructions. Now, just to give it a shot, try shining your laser pointers up on that screen. Great. All right, we can see that. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Stay in the green. Yeah, good. Uh, fantastic. OK, I'm going to just pause this for just a second. We're going to get a little music, because that'll be way more fun. All right. Is Pluto a planet? Where is it? <laughs> what do you think? You're, a, you're entrepreneurs. <laughs> W2, that's an uh, American reference. Whoops. <laughs> All right, I'm drowning, throw me a... <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. All right, so what's it going to be? Any one of those? So where's everybody from? No. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people in the ocean. All right, try to follow this. Keep those lasers in there. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of people follow instructions. All right, how about this? Can you follow it in there? <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> All right. All right, I think we're going to uh, we'll accelerate this a little bit here. <laughs> All right, we're going to move to the next game. I feel like that one maybe is a bust. Uh, all right, let's do this. So um, how many, let's, uh, let's get the house lights up again. All right, beautiful. Um, this is a, uh, a, a, another exploration here. Okay. Um, what, how, ma how many are entrepreneurs in the audience? Well, okay, um, so that probably means that there's a lot of people who are great presenters, yeah? Keep your hand up if you're a great presenter. Yeah, all right. Uh, I need two volunteers that think they're great presenters. Uh, you, right there on the, on the sidelines there. Yeah, please, thanks. Um, and how about a woman? Yes, please, you, right there. Great. Um, okay, Daniel, thanks. Good. Welcome back. My pleasure. So let him open, open the sea of people for Moses. Open the sea. That's all of you. Let him pass. Let him pass. Come along, Moses. Okay, choose a word. Russia or skills? Skills. skills. Great. All right. Um, you, sir, have inherited Russia. Uh, yeah, so the way this game works is, you guys are great presenters. I'm going to give you a deck you've never seen before, a, a set of slides. Many people know this is PowerPoint karaoke. So what you're going to do is you need to present this deck very impassioned, right? Like your business <laughs> depends on this, all right? So uh, are you ready to go? 
Yeah. Okay, good, good, excellent. Okay, so let's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you can, uh, I would do it in the language of the audience. <laughs> I'm really speaking to the microphone, boys and girls. Like this. Uh, all right, why don't you and I, we'll go, uh, okay, and then you'll uh, just advance can it I here with the slides. The slides uh, you cannot preview the slides. No, you Thank do get one preview there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. And uh, we'll start a timer here. Why don't you and I step off to the side? Okay, you have five minutes, sir. Uh, you know, use, use this thing right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, and go. So, do you ever a thought of a challenging a game and also having fun during this while sitting in the cold, cold suburbia of Russia? We, for me, we have always thought of having a fun game, but it's hard, it's really hard to get a fun game in Russia because everything is cold. So, um... <laughs> So, as you know, we have many people in our country, and there are as many people as are, there are many skulls. And then we have a family game, this is called Skalski Sprich Paschka, Ich Sprich Breche, Ich Pacha, Ich Sprich Which is in German, uh, something like, <laughs> well, chill, 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 chill. Make it like the death and chill and chill. So, uh, we have this beautiful picture of our uh, family tree. You see, uh, right there besides our slide, there would be me, but this will be heaven. So, um, after we have the scars, we make dice of this, and then we play. And as we play, we can choose what to do. So, as we, you see, during this uh, wonderful uh, presentation, uh, um, action. My son Brachil is playing <laughs> the brachata, and as he plays, the, my grandma Brachbachir has to make the milk of the car flow as the river goes. So it's like racha, 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 cha. So, and uh, this is also a long, long, very long tradition. Oh, thank you, thank you. Dziękuję, dziękuję, Bosrobie. But, but it's long, a long, a long tradition. Uh, this game goes long, way before Christ is living like. Uh, 2012. Okay, I, I, I changed. Uh, 2020. So, um, and one of the greatest things of this game is you will lose weight very fast because one of these <laughs> games takes like uh, five years. So uh, you also have the possibility to not only lose weight but you will also gain many new scars because, well, obvious reasons. And and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And this, this very game has been always a great part of our culture. So even before there was um, snow in Russia, we've been using this as an initiation part of our young boys. And whoever could not pass this would be a part of the scars. Afterwards, during the medieval times, we've been using this as a decision time to what will be a knight and who will be knighted. And here you can see a very interesting chart, <laughs> which I will explain you while I will think about um, appropriate um, words for this audience, because, you know, but this time I will skip it, because, <laughs> as you can see, there are many, many threats to our humanity. As you can see on the right, this is an alien. This has been Russian for about 200 years. And thanks to our game we have developed, we have ascended from this race to this what we are today, the mighty Russian race of humans, which all you are part of this. And the only way it goes is up. The sky <laughs> is the limit. And I, will, I want you to understand, I want you to feel that this is not just a game. This is the game of life. And as you know, life is only one chance. And Beautiful. After this, that is the end. Nice okay, work. Okay. All right. Give him a round of applause, people. Incredible. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you for that. Uh, okay. You'll be made an honorary Russian by, the, by this, this evening. One. Okay. Uh, all right. And to remind me your name? Uh, Nadia. Nadia. Uh, you, uh, Nadia is going to talk us about how to master any skill. So talking about skills, first of all, I'm really sorry if this is going to suck. You learned never to say that, but I expected it was about laser pointers and playing. <laughs> so uh, I tried to put another skill to task, and uh, one that might be 
really important. You're thinking, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> Can I move this on? Sure. Yes. Is um, taking pictures in awkward situation with misunderstood shark who actually just wanted to say hello to you. So um, for us, we want to welcome people with a different set of skills. For instance, having high impact in meetings. <laughs> Being highly flexible. Highly flexible. Dynamic. And are okay with a lot of paper cuts because obviously when you start with us, you just stack papers and papers and papers and really have to use the copy machine a lot until you move up, up to coffee service, uh, which can be a hot task. So never forget the lid on that. <laughs> We're big fans of fire. Yeah, but on the opposite, really, really cool. You also get to handle us. <laughs> yeah, so on a final reminder, um, this is a job description where you have to dream about bigger things. We heard about meat being produced today in tanks, but what about bringing cows to the ocean and dolphins to the farms? I mean, come on. There is no limit, as we heard Incredible. Uh, Nadia, thank you so much. <laughs> Great, you guys. I appreciate it. Nice work. Thank you very much, boys and girls. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, mate. Okay, um, let's see, we have another, uh, another, another game here. How many co-founders in the room? With both co-founders are in the room. How many co-founders? Oh, wow. I had this really tempting, uh, okay. Uh, so two, I, I need two sets of co-founders. Um, I do feel like you guys probably should be on there. So yeah, let's get one of you. <laughs> Tim, uh, would you mind joining us on stage, please, Tim? Uh, and Jurgen. Yeah, come on, both you guys, let's do it. So give it up for Jurgen and Andy. Welcome on stage, the two founders, the and two I founders of Pioneers. One other pair, one other pair of co-founders. You guys, great. Okay. Um, so this game. So now I don't know if you guys have this in Europe. There's a game in the U.S. called the Newlywed Game. Now, the newlywed game is really quite fun uh, because you'll get a, a husband and wife couple up on stage and then you take one of them off stage and you ask them questions. Uh, and so I would just love for you to come with, uh, with Daniel here. Great. Um, Hang on, have, have you lost your co-founder? He's somewhere in the room. But, no, but we need your co-founder, my friend, as it's the co-founder. Well, then, if you found a company with that guy, yeah. <laughs> come this, along. If this guy looks familiar. Yes. Or if you want to set up a company, no seriously, if that's so supposed to remain your co-founder, please join us on stage right about now. All right. Um, all Dude, right. your company just officially <laughs> fucked. Okay, I think we need another new one. New set of co-founders. I'm sorry, we need a new set of co-founder. You might want to be talking about your company tonight, my friend. Negative. Good. Is that the co-founder? There we she is. Adrian to the stage. All right. So in that sense, the company's good up and running. <laughs> Please, right that way. Beautiful. Uh, okay, um, would you two mind following uh, Daniel backstage? Yes. Thank you so I much. Way, yes, wonderful. No costumes, I hope. No costumes. No. <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, wonderful to have you here. Here, here's a microphone for you, sir. Um, uh, Ma you're Max. Great, Max. Max. My name's Brent. Hi. Uh, yeah, you guys all know this fine gentleman. Okay, so, uh, I, I, folks... I do not sing. You do not sing. You don't no. have to sing. No, no, no. This is going to be really easy. Uh, we're just going to ask a few questions. Um, like, between you and your co-founder, who would genuinely say is the money spender and who's the money saver? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I think that the both of us like to spend money. I mean, if you look at this stage, this is it pretty could impressive. Be cheaper. It, it could, could be cheaper. cheaper right? Yeah, you could cut out a few things. That's true. But but would it be as awesome? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Max, how about you? So uh, I'm probably the the crazy ideas person, and Adrian's the person that allows us to actually build a company. Um, but I like to travel a lot, and so one of the crazy ideas I had was we should come to Pioneers. Uh, and we're from Boston, uh, so we're based all the way in the United States, and it so took me a long time to convince us that we should buy the plane tickets. So you're here. the spender. Okay. Um, all right, who's the harder worker? 
<laughs> I think you, you want to take start, that first, right? Max? Yeah. So uh, as, as the co-founder who has the mic, I'm definitely going to shine all the credit to Adrian because she works way harder than I do. Wow. And she's very methodical. She never loses anything and it keeps the same. Very tactical co-founder there. OK, very d diplomatic response. <laughs> Jurgen? Well, I'm definitely the hard worker, that's for sure. <laughs> Good, all right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, if Andy. If your co-founder could be married to a movie star, who would they choose? Didn't you want to start again? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm probably going to go with Han Solo. Because uh, Adrienne loves to travel, and she is really uh, has really good taste, uh, and so I think Hans, with his like really wavy hair, would be uh, a good person for Adrian. Mm. Since Andy and myself, we are both coming from from the southern part of Austria, very humble backgrounds. I think that Andy would would stick with the girlfriend that that he has at, that the, he moment, has at the moment. You know, uh, he, he yeah. wouldn't switch probably Awkward. to a movie star. <laughs> okay, but he's quite happy with it. <laughs> Uh, okay, last question. Uh, let's say there was a huge prize for winning this competition, which actually there is, right? Um, what would your co-founder spend it on? What would your co-founder spend a huge prize for winning a competition on? Ferrari? A Ferrari, yeah, good. Just didn't even skip a beat. <laughs> Not Thank at you, all. Max? Uh, I hope Adrian would spend it on our finances, because we need some money right now. <laughs> All right, let's get our let's get our co-founders back on stage here. Um, We're right here. Oh, great! Please join me. Beautiful. Right this way, please. Right this oh way. <laughs> uh, so we went through a couple of questions, uh, and we, we maybe get the same answers from you guys. Um, so the, the between you and your co-founder, who would you say is the money spender and who's the money saver? It's me. You're the you're which one? You're both. <laughs> you're both. Come on. Oh, that's true, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think I had to give quick answers here. I haven't thought it through. Okay. So. Uh, it's definitely Max. He's good at finding conferences all over the world. <laughs> In Switzerland, Morocco, Vienna. No difficult conference to get to. No, no expense spared for conferences. Great, all right. Um, what would you say, uh, let's see, who's the harder worker? <laughs> You know, he just said, he just told me that he did everything wrong, so now, then it's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely him. Definitely him. Adrian? Uh, I'd like to say me, but it's yeah. Max. <laughs> because you, guys, you guys are a really good team, clearly deflecting him, responsibility. He's like always sleep deprived. <laughs> Uh, all right, and what would, if you guys won a huge competition, what would, you, what would your co-founder spend the money on? A Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> we would go to Disney World. Nice, uh, good. Uh, okay, and one last one. Uh, if your co-founder could be married to a movie star, who would they choose? <laughs> Can you go first now? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Max is okay. very yeah, fond nice. of him. Wonderful. Yeah, you know, Ryan... he, he thought that you would be married to Han Solo, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Maggie Grace. Ooh, all right. <laughs> uh, that's going to be tough. No, We're going uh, to have to duke it guess. out. All right. uh, hmm. A Persian actress. I don't know Persian actress. It would be a Persian actress. There is that. Okay. <laughs> uh, awesome, folks. That, that's wonderful. Thanks for getting up here with us. Really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so who won now? <laughs> uh, we, we all won. <laughs> all right. Um, so guys, we're going to try another game that's very much an experiment. So work, work with me on this one. Um, I'm going to just switch this to the Wi-Fi. Thank you, Daniel. Um, I'm going to get to a wired connection here. And uh, this game 
is called Wikifight. And so I'm going to do a very stupid thing and try to get you to all use your cell phones at once. And we'll just see if we can't break the internet here. Uh, so the way this game works is we're going to navigate between two Wikipedia pages. Uh, and so what happens is, is we're going to, when you launch your, 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 uh, launch your web browser and go to a URL uh, that <laughs> I can't display for you because I need the wired connection, but it's the number two. The, the letter B C dot I O slash wiki. So the number two B C dot I O slash wiki. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate between two Wikipedia web pages. We're going to try to get from the page for Bacon to the page for Kevin Bacon as fast as possible. So uh, again, that URL, 2bc.io slash wiki. All right, and we have a lot of people joining. This seems to be working. Um, beautiful. We're going to just take another minute to let folks join. We've got about, man, 100 players in this game right now. That is awesome. Uh, this hasn't broken yet. All right, folks. So let's give this a shot. Anybody, just out of curiosity, anybody not able to log in right now? So is it, is it that the internet is not loading, or you're not, or there's something? It's the internet's not loading, like your Wi-Fi is not working. Yeah. All right, that's interesting to know. Um, all right, maybe just look at your your neighbor or something. Uh, okay, let's give this a shot. So hopefully. Uh, okay, you'll notice that you're all now about seven degrees from Kevin Bacon, six degrees from Kevin Bacon. Uh, some of you are now five degrees from Kevin Bacon. Beautiful. Uh, okay, we have Daniel in the clear lead. Um, but, all right, this is quite good. All right, so uh, people are getting closer. Genius. It seems, uh, folks that are on this, it's working? Awesome. All right, we have a lot of people getting much closer. All right, fantastic. Uh, somebody is in at sea urchin and milk chocolate. I'm curious how they're getting there. Awesome. Um, getting closer. Okay, we got somebody in Bratislava. All right, that's getting closer. Someone is at. Oh, someone won. Uh, the winning path. Uh, raise your hand if you just won. It seems to have timed out on me. Yeah. That did work. Interesting. Uh, okay, cool. That was uh, that was awesome to know. Okay, raise your hand if that broke for you. Yeah, I can't quite see with the lights. There's a what? So sorry. Okay. All right, uh, folks, and that is wonderful. Okay, we're gonna do one last game, um, and this one is. <laughs> I need three more participants, uh, but I promise not to abuse you. Um, three more participants. Anybody interested in coming on stage? You, sir, please. Thank you so much. You, sir. And with their hand over here. Great. All right. Uh, this is a very ridiculous game, but I promise it will be very easy to play. Uh, let's just see here. So, wonderful. All right, is that, can you see that all right? Okay, so this is a game of Pong, but you guys are going to play it with these slide whistles. Okay, so there's one for you, sir. There's one for you. Now you get to the dubious control of controlling the ball. So with this bike, with, with this bicycle, you are, oops, I'm going to turn it on here. With this bicycle, you're going to control the ball. There we go. OK, now make sure to get into the microphone so people can really see what you're look, doing at. Now you're controlling the ball. So uh, <laughs> that's quite good. All right. Uh, all right, we'll go five for five. We're now beginning the game. Good. <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> ah, that is wonderful. <laughs> All right.
right? We're playing to, let's say, we'll play to 12. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Tactical, <laughs> piercing. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, game point. It's almost a tie. Mine's broken. Yeah, I think it's not moving. Oh, did it not work? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we do have this. You can see it's taped together. Okay. All right. That's game. Nice work, people. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, folks, well, thanks for participating. Thanks for playing along. Uh, you know, apologies for the technical glitches, but, you know, this is Pioneers Festival. We're exploring new ways of play here. Thanks, Thank guys. you very much, yeah. Brent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.